Alright, hello, and welcome back to Octopath Traveler. Part, uh, something or other. <laughs> Part, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, apparently it was right after the autosave. Ah uh, yes, the theft. The theft chapter 2 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was just about to head out of town for the chapter 2. Go do that. Up in Noble Court. And I have not been to Noble Court. So I've been like right next to it. So let's get going. I had to switch modes on my TV so I could actually see. Arrow storm him. That one's strong. There we go. They're gone to Flame's Grace. No, I did go to Flame's Grace. I need to go towards Atlas Town. Shocking. I will not be defeated. Alright, Therian, level 12. Attention. Five hundred, okay.
Use your axe. And north, okay. What's that symbol? I didn't think so. Ooh, yikes. Weak to wind, if that makes sense. Of course, uh, the one that still attack was the one that survived that. Whisper mill. I do not want to go there. There is no choice. Okay, then.
I can help in the serving. Second serving. Would have been nice, but wait, it happened. Ice, okay. Okay, that makes sense. But then so would have light, so. Nice. Didn't see it coming. Victory shall be marked. Ah, it is yours. Interesting, interesting. Ah, perfect. Arriving in Noble Court in search of the Ruby Dragon Stone, you quickly overhear a rumor that a scholar in town is using the stone to conduct some questionable research. Exactly what I need. Not that that's a good thing. <laughs> Questionable research is not good. The story so far. After successfully infiltrating Ravis Manor, Therian was confronted by the butler Heathcote, who ensnared him with the fool's bangle. Now, he begrudgingly ventures forth to find the three dragon stones, lost treasures of House Ravis, at the behest of their owner, Lady Cordia, Cordelia. That he might have his mark of shame removed. And so, he arrives in this town, where rumor has it the Ruby Dragonstone resides. As for who holds it, none can say. And thus, Therian's search begins. Now then. A scholar in noble court. Thanks, Heathcote. Those are like a leap a dozen here. I need something more to go on than that. Glad it's on the outskirts. I, I avoid it if I can. Hi. That creepy old mansion in the northwest part of town? I heard someone actually lives there. man named Orlik. They say he's some kind of scholar. What business would a scholar have living there? Research. Apparently he spends all his time locked up in his study studying some shiny red stone. His men won't let anyone in to see him. Hmm. 
you ask me, it sounds like he's hiding something. He may very well be, but I'm fine letting him keep his secrets. Interesting. The secrets he can keep, but that stone is a different story. Time to do some research of my own. Outskirts of town, was it? Save that. That's the outskirts. Small town. This must be the place. And of course it's guarded. Calling with his own personal armed guard? Yeah, that's not suspicious or any <clears throat> suspicious or anything. No back door, either. I can't get a free pass anywhere these days. Going by the tavern. Someone's bound to know something. Oh, trouble banter. Nice. Tell me, how would you get into this building? An interesting query. Were it a battlefield, I would seek out the weakest flank and strike, using the element of surprise. Oh, I would have figured you more for a full frontal assault. Of course, I would consider that too, were it necessary. But either way, reaching the center of the manse would be no easy task. Brute force can only get you so far, eh? Just so, the straight way of the soldier is not always the surest nor quickest path. Hence, this venture is best left in your hands. I'm most eager to see your skills in action. <laughs> Never thought I'd have an audience. Take real quick. Also, I should probably go to an inn first, if I can. Does any other part count? Seems like the yeah yeah I don't know who else's chapter is here, but it looks like that's the cathedral. So I'm assuming it's uh, Ophelia comes here later. Be the end down there.
Other hidden item. Yikes. Better, Victory. much better. All right, good. Should have this battle. I think that was you have my thanks. And I could only open that because I have the thief with me. Boy. Young man claiming to be the disciple of the man who knows this. He has learned anything of note. Oh, he's weaker than the old lady. I mean, she was a mage, so I guess that makes sense. Might take me a little bit to figure out what he's weak to, though. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's my extra attack.
I'm gonna try. Door doesn't open. Alright, to heal again before I move back on to the actual quest. Hooray! Oops. Up there. Now, let's see. Who here looks like they know they know about our friend Or Orlick? Hello. How's business, my friend? Well, you see, not good, I'm afraid. I hope you're faring better. I wish I could tell you so, but it's been hard lately for us too. My condolences. Mine too. Moving on. I just don't get those people. Locked away in that manor. Locked, locked away in that manor. Surrounded by guards. It's strange, isn't it? Makes me wonder just what Or looks up to in there. Well, that's more like it. Hey. Mind if I have a seat? Hello. Not at all. Can I get you two a drink? All right, then. That's mighty kind of you, stranger. What brings you here? You don't look like you're from around these parts. <laughs> I'm a wanderer. Going wherever my feet take me. There's nothing, nothing better than a tall ale and a good tale after a day of traveling. If you don't mind my asking, who's this Orlick fellow you were talking about? If you're that interested, we'll tell you all about him. Consider it thanks for the drinks. Orlick's the talk of the town right now. He's a scholar, and one I dare say went off the deep end. He's a scholar, and one I dare say went off the deep end. Okay, he holds himself up in the building on the edge of town. Where it is, he's doing some kind of research and hasn't come out since. Just so. I heard he's investigating a stone, but nobody knows what for. Definitely sounds like he's got a few screws loose. You got that right. He's one you don't want to get involved with. Now that I think about it, though, didn't he have a research partner? Yeah, I heard it was another eccentric one. I think he's still doing his research in town. Oh, what's his name? Barnram? Barnhand? Barum? Yes, that's it. He worked in that manner with Orlick, but they went their separate ways after a disagreement. Is that so? I guess they were too much for each other to handle. <laughs> that sounds like it. Anyway, I hope that sates your curiosity, Wanderer. Thanks. It does. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. I'm gonna track down this barn. Bet. 
camera's looking weird because, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Oh, that's the other manor that was closed. Now, then. now let's see if he's home. What? Who's there? Someone looking for a man named Barham. Barham? Let's hurry this up. I'm Barham. What business do you have with me? Is that so? I heard you used to be Orlick's research partner. Is that true? Yes, yes. That was long, long ago. I have nothing to do with the man now, and all the better for it. If that's all you came here for, you can leave now. Goodbye. Wait, hear me out. Orlick has something I need. What? And what's that? I'll give you a hint. It's the subject of his research. <sighs> the Ruby Dragon Stone. Indeed. That's the one. I see. I surmise you plan to take it from him. Guilty as charged. <laughs> and you need my help. That's right. I see. So you came to ask me how to get into his place. <laughs> you scholars are quick on the update. Very well then, I'll give you the answer you will seek. You are seek. You seek. You'll need a password to enter. Oh. And the password is. <laughs> Presumptuous, aren't we? I'll tell you on one condition. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. Get what I need for my experiment, and we'll call it a deal. Sure. Sounds fair. What do you need? Pure water, filtered through the desert sands. Kind found only in the most pristine, pristine oases. Hmm. Silly me. I actually thought your demand was going to be reasonable. It is, you fool. A merchant from the Sunlands oft comes to town selling this very water. However, this rarity doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Price is never my problem. Consider it done. I mean, he does have the fool's bangle on his arm, so if anyone's paying attention, they'll know he's a thief. Come one, come all. I present to you the most precious and refreshing beverage in the realm. Snake oil. Oh, wait. Oasis water. All natural and free of even the slightest impurities. One sip and you'll taste the difference. You there. How about a drink? Thief time. If you lead a thief to water. Trust you won't be missing this. And that's that. 
I hope you're thirsty. That was faster than I anticipated. Now then. I fulfilled my half of the bargain. Now tell me the password. No. Now, now, your half is fulfilled when I say it's fulfilled. I see what's happening here. I should hope so. I'll need a few more things for my experiment, if you'd be so kind. You insist. Thieves are notorious for being kind. How can I help you? I require a wyvern scale. Can you procure one for me? I, I don't know. Where can I find one? They're sold in town from time to time, and sadly prized by scholars as a reagent, and carries a price to match. Got it. I'm noticing a trend here, but yes, I can get it for you. Yes, yes. Good, I'm counting on you. Deal a lesser dragon scale. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's that's fine. It, that, no, the thing wrong. Get that. A lot of back and forth in this one. I trust you won't be missing this. The only reason I'm succeeding is because I have to for story. Maybe they expect you to fail on that one slightly. While I'm thinking about it, I should uh, purchase... Upgrades if I can. Golden hair For most people, get two of them. One to Cyrus, one to Aphilia. Area. Oh. Come on, let's bearing one. No, not in the current party anyway. By 16. No elemental defense up by 40. Defense up by 36. No elemental defense up by 42.
Oh, I need to sell my... Alright, that's better. Could also be doing this. Try. Hello. Try to steal this if you can. Hello. Yeah, I think that's uh call it there. Don't wanna do that too many times and then end up uh yeah, problematic stuff happening, you know, that uh, not fun jazz. This chapter. And that's that. I got what you asked for. Perfect. You're quite good at your craft. I need a password, not praise. And I need just one more thing. Wonderful. Remind me, who's the crook here? That's a fine attitude to have, if you don't want the password. Okay, but this is the last one. Yes, I promise. Special type of ore. Metallic in nature, but crystal clear. Once I have it, I can begin my experiment. Huh. Music to my ears. You want transparent steel? I think this is the wrong setting for transparent steel. Really, that's interesting. The other ones I just instantly succeeded. I don't use these things. I'm going to assume the price did not increase, and that's enough. Yeah, that's enough, okay.
can we? There we go. Oh, nice. And that's that. I got what you asked for. Here, catch. Careful. Careful with that. Anyhow, thanks. At last, I can begin my grand experience. Experiments. Aren't you forgetting something, old man? You promised me a password. Pull your heels. The experiment comes first. I hope you don't think you can swindle a swindler. Don't be ridiculous. Just be patient and I'll uphold my half of the bargain. Or if you turn into a Clefairy and I have to turn you back. Orlick and I have known each other since our years at the Academy. We acquired that manner as a place to continue our research. But he changed after coming across that dragon stone. It was almost like he was possessed, life consumed by his research. Wouldn't let anyone get near him, not even me. That's why I want to help you get that stone away from him. It's not meant to be held by our hands. Password is the truth of all things. Well, I'll be damned. The truth of all things. That's easy enough to remember. Yeah. Yes, and take this with you too. This is this is a key. True. Observant. Use those materials to make this. Yes, yes. You're a natural born researcher, boy. Now, the password will get you into the mansion. But the door to the laboratory can only be opened with that key. Hmm. Makes you think he doesn't want anyone getting in. Not even an old friend like you. Hmm. Yes. May have disagreed from time to time, but Orlick is still like a brother to me. My warnings may have been nothing but noise to him, but I wouldn't be much of an older brother if I didn't nag him from time to time. Fashion is important in our line of work. There's a line between that and obsession, and Orlick's crossed that line. So this moving friendship, or maybe brotherly love, is why you're so willing to help me. I wonder, perhaps it's jealousy or hatred that's come to drive me. Those bygone days are precious to me, even now. I know what I feel is true. Tugs the old heartstrings. But my own reasons are more than enough to go through with this. Thanks. Hmm. Friends, brothers, partners.
flashback? Oh, yeah. All right. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> Those Siano bastards finally got what they deserved. Always strutting around like they're bleeding on, like they bleed and own the place. I wish I could see their boots when they realize someone beat them to it. No matter how hard they look now, they won't find our treasure. <laughs> Something this rare would be wa wasted on them, anyways. <laughs> you said it. Now we just sell this gem and. Wait. Something wrong? Uh. Where are the gold coins we stole? We would said we'd split the spoils. <laughs> Sharp as attack, aren't you? Not much, so I thought I'd just hold on to it and buy you a tidbit later. I see. I see. And let's celebrate with this tonight. <laughs> let's. All right. Don't let your guard down. The Cianos will come for revenge at some point. Cianos? They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to violence if need be. Nice. I know. Thanks for looking out, partner. No problem. Now let's get moving. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Huh. I swear, scholars have to be the most pig-headed folk around. Not exactly. There's some truth to... No, I'm afraid I must protest. You must understand that not all scholars are like the master there. The master here. I can see there are stubborn types obsessed with their research and blind to all else. But there are broad-minded thinkers too. Really seek wisdom and truth in all its forms. Like myself, for example. I see. Let me rephrase myself. By all means, my friend. Scholars are some of the most pompous and pedantic people I've ever had the joy of meeting. Now that's hardly an improvement. Allow me to make a counter-argument. Case in point. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, that was good. Holt, what business do you have here? There's no need to sneak around now that I have the password. Play my cards right, I can walk right in. Hey. I have a package for Ulrich. Materials for his experiment. Oi. You hear anything about a delivery? You hear anything about a delivery? Not me. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Oh, oh sorry, that's Therian. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Anyway, he said it was urgent, so I rushed over. Understood. What's the password? The truth of all things. Alright, you may pass. Where would we be without guards? In the mansion sooner? Anything 
around the manse? No. Harlux Manse. Go ahead and save. What in the world is that? Curator. The battle is truly joined. Okay. There we the ice. Missed the room down there. Guys are weak. Stronger. Stronger ones. I don't think that would have helped them very much, Cyrus. Oh, interesting. Actually, multiple maps. I've done my research on you. What in the world is this guy? The Guardian doesn't have elemental weakness. You, you've been there. A lot of items in this place. Or not items, just... Fire's the last one, okay. So I have to run into another one of those to know what to do.
Firestorm. Gotta find my partner. Join with him, turn into a burning man. And then suddenly I have control over a fire. Don't want to use cleric skills. What? There we go. Just use the digital pad from now on. It'll work out better, probably. Uh oh, Rick almost leveled. There's nothing on that side. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna go over. I find it interesting that they made that two separate areas. I mean, I know why they did it. This seems interesting. That's the decision that they made. Here we go, leveling up. Hammer on me, nothing in it. Okay. Same thing here. I wouldn't exactly call it a heavy attacker, but...
Firestorm seems useful so far. I wonder why there's a chest that only the guy who's supposed to be here can open. That worked. This is lightning damage. Else that would be there other than to just use it. Those are dark. Hope they'll be weak to luminous. They're the upgrades of the uh, what sentinels? be nice for Cyrus to level up so that I don't have to keep smacking things to get SP back. A refreshing jam. Thing over here, nothing. Hmm, there's a save journal. I wonder what's about to happen. Just gotta make sure. Ready for the coming battle. He has so much SP, I'm not worried about it. Make sure to heal up after this. Alright. Thoughts to heal us.
Okay, oh, I should have healed before saving. But this is the door Barnum was talking about. Doesn't look like it has any ordinary lock, that's for sure. This crystal key should do the trick. Wait, what? One down, two to go. That's far enough, thief. You must be Orlik. I assume you heard the rumors and came to steal my dragon stone. But filthy thieves such as yourself could never appreciate its truth. Wait, Barham puts you up to this, didn't he? That nagging, patronizing coward, Barham. This research is pointless, Oryk. Enough of the dragon stone, Oryk. I'll decide when enough is enough. This stone is mine. You will never have it. I beg to differ. I couldn't care less about its true value. But I need to get that stone back to its rightful owner. And that's not you. This stone should be in the hands of someone intelligent. Someone who can appreciate its mystery. Precisely. This beautiful stone requires research, and I'm the only one who can do it. It sounds like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done. Why should I? I never said you should. I know how it feels. Don't pretend you understand! Enough with this thoughtless prattle! I have work to do! Let's get this over with. Orlick is protected by his lackeys. Victory shall be mine! A torrent of error! <laughs> Out of my way. That's not in. I'll not be defeated. May the sacred flame shine forth. It might only be weak to physical attacks.
augmentation. Oh, okay. Just buffed them. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna turn down the battle music. Battle sounds. That's a bit of a, a wee too better. Huh? Alright, ice. I need to get Therian up again. I forgot to buff that. Magic missile. Oh, of course. And arrow storm again. Okay, it did unblock him. Okay, not that. Of course, it wasn't any of the elemental stuff. Oh, that doesn't help me at all. Victory shall be How about we cross strike him twice? Watch my dance. Watch my dance. I'll not be defeated. Yes. Ah. Now, what next? Double spearhead. Probably just, uh... Do a regular heal wound, it's fully powered. She has a lot of SP left. Out of my way. You're too. The battle is 
is truly joy. Magic missile, of course. Of course. Oh, nice. Second serving is really nice, especially for boss battles. Alright, let's do this. Go with lightning blast. That was a lot of damage. Oh, not quite. Activate construct. We really need to type what's actually the finishing blow on it. Pretty sure. Yep. Victory shall be mine. My The battle is truly joy. There we go. We still need to finish the ad. The answer is yes. Thank you. 
need more SP anyway, so. Victory shall be mine. What is the logical course of action? How about you? Out of my way. No, no I should have attacked a lot more with Therium. Lightning bolt. Patience? No? Okay. Again, it would be poetic if he could break the last blow, but somehow don't think that's gonna happen now. Yep. He did level though. Since you won't be doing much more research, I'll just take this. And now, back to Boulderfall. I'm sure Heathcote's got new orders for me. I'm back. I'm so glad to see you safe, Mr. Therion. I brought the Dragonstone. This is indeed the Ruby Stone, without a doubt. You have my gratitude. He is simply upholding his half of the deal, my lady. He deserves no such thanks. After all, he has yet to return the two remaining stones. I think he's earned the removal of the band. Stop and think about what you're saying. I beg your pardon? You can't guarantee I'll fulfill my promise if you remove this now. I believe you would. And why is that? You don't strike me as someone who would abandon responsibility. And you strike me as someone with too much faith in people. Take it from me. No matter how much you trust someone, you will betray you. So do yourself a favor and build your walls up higher before you get hurt. Mr. Therion? Please, my lady, that's quite enough. Though I hate to admit it, he's right. It's best not to remove the band just yet. If you insist. So, where's the next stone? After a bit of digging, I found it to be in Wellspring. Any idea where in Wellspring? That town is home to a black market. What does he know about the black market? Only those involved with the business. 
business are supposed to know. I knew he was no ordinary butler. The Emerald Dragonstone is being sold there. No, it's being sold. Interesting. Or so my sources say. I'll be on my way then. Good luck out there, Mr. Therion. You don't need to see me off again. It's a waste of time for both of us. But... Farewell. Please, don't burden yourself with him, Miss Ramus. Even that man has dignity to uphold. Dignity? Though he may live an unscrupulous life, his skills as a thief keep him alive. Naturally, he has pride and confidence in these skills, but we use them against him. And I can imagine he feels great frustration when shown compassion and consideration by the very ones who duped him. If he did not feel such, I would not think him suitable for the job. I see. He is a man with a lot of pride. Milady? My apologies, Heathcote, but I can't help thinking of that lonesome look on his face. It reminded me of myself back then. Is that so? Yes. His words may have been harsh, but I could tell that his true feelings were different. And so, Therian's journey continues. His next target? Stone of Emerald. He sets forth for the town of Wellspring in the Sunlands, and the den of villainy awaits within. Here we travel banter. So that is a dragon stone. Why it's so beautiful. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought you religious types had much interest in gems. I care not for material wealth, if that is what you mean, but I can sense a strange power in these in those stones. I have to take your word on that. It's not exactly my area of expertise. But whatever the reason, not a not a bad thing for someone like you to be interested in pretty gems. Whatever do you mean by that? I mean, most girls your age like to wear brooches and bangles, right? If you ask me, a better place for these gems would be on the wrist of a young lady like yourself. But why? Now you're just teasing me, aren't you? Well, I think this conversation is over. <laughs> All right. You'll save me. And that's it for this episode of Octopath Traveler. Thanks for watching.